Okay, good morning, folks. It's Wednesday, so that means it's house tours day. And uh, I believe it is Dominion's turn, so I am on my alt, on Melancholy. Um, just uh, a heads up, we do have uh, maintenance incoming today. Um, I think it's supposed to hit about four hours, I guess. Um, and it's supposed to last uh, a couple of hours. Um, so if uh, you want to get your wild star time in now, just go uh, go play and you can watch this later. It's not uh, not a biggie if uh, you guys want to put the, the game in priority over over my stream. Morning, Z. Glad you could join us. Um, Getting a bit of a late start, I'd actually planned to hop on much sooner again, um, but I was having trouble. I had about four houses on my list today, and one of them has gone private, and the other one, I can't get it to come up. Uh, it keeps up telling me that the uh, person does not exist, but we all know how um, uh, reliable that is. Uh, so um, we only have two today that I actually have lined up, so hopefully we don't have any trouble getting to those. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't think we have any other announcements uh, other than I saw a tweet and a forum post mentioning that um, there has been some uh, changes made to the Steam page for Wildstar for those that have been anxiously awaiting that. Um, Apparently, the date has been set to June 1st um, of this year, so in about a week. Um, whether that's accurate or, or just uh, somebody goofing with us, I don't know. But uh, it seems to be legit, even though there hasn't been an official announcement uh, from Carbine themselves, which is not unusual, unfortunately. But um, for those of you that are looking to maybe uh, participate in some special events to welcome new players and stuff, you might want to start making your arrangements um, in the, the, the thought that we will be um, having an influx of players come um, next week or so. Hey, Bucky and Faye, good morning, guys. And anyone else listening, watching, um, I know I do have my occasional lurkers. Um, so yeah, June 1st is the supposed Steam release, um, so if you're uh, wanting to mark your calendars for that, that's uh, something you might want to do. Um, other than that, I haven't heard or seen anything uh, significant beyond that, so that is that. Um, just a reminder again, I keep saying it's a final reminder, but I'm not going to say that this time. Uh, that uh, we will be having the um, CBDC showcase stream on the 31st, so right before the Steam release, I guess. And uh, so if you want to participate in that, be sure and get me the information about where your um, CBDC build is located. Um, I am happy to inform you that I now have a Dominion char on NA side. Um, he's only level 9 at the moment, but uh, I expect to get that finished up today because I think my daily login is um, an XP booster flask or whatever, so shouldn't be any problem getting that done. Um, so I will have uh, both sides covered for that. Um, good news for Zodi because I know um, they for sure have uh, a, a Dominion entry that they want to showcase. Morning, Ducky. <clears throat> Ducky with a D, and then there's Bucky with a B. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, again, it's probably going to be a short stream unless I can really find a bunch to talk about because um, we only have two houses today, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so we are on the plot of Ritsudo Yagyu. Um, I I'm not positive I'm pronouncing that correctly, but uh, that's how it looks to me. And you can see how they've covered up their entrance here. It's a variety of objects here, from gray stones to, it looks like, um, those uh, glacier 
icicle bits. It could be stuff uh, from Arctera, but I suspect it might be um, also uh, possibly those um, that you find from the, the, the housing vendor. I don't know what exactly they're using for the floor. Um, it could be just the stone and it looks kind of bluish because of the lighting that they have out here. I, I really don't know for sure. Um, but it looks like a nice little ice cave that they've built over top um, and uh, very suitable for this particular little build. It's called Samurai Mountain Dojo and uh, for those that really like uh, Asian type themes this should be a, a fun little uh, tour for you. Um, it is wintry um, on the plot so you're going to have touches of like the uh, icy styled uh, bramble bushes, there's some uh, icy flowers, lots of snow-covered trees, and uh, you can see little bits of Arctera here and there. Uh, so people are finding uh, fun ways to use that new decor. Um, we did get a, a boatload of it, um, so it's nice that folks are finding not only winter plots to use them on, but other plots as well. Let me put my foot down because my shoes are about to fall off. Hey, Poi, good morning. Oh, right. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I am so bad about that. I really should get myself some kind of a post-it note or something that I constantly stick up there. Thank you for the reminder, boy. It is done. It is done. So uh, right off the bat, we have this little, I don't know what you call it, a, like a entrance gate thingy, portal, I don't know. Um, we've seen several versions of it. I kind of like this one. It's uh, using uh, Draken pillars. Um, it looks like, really hard to tell, looks like just a 2x4 um, for the, the top part and this part and then it's um, tacked with um, the Draken um, lantern bits. It's even got some uh, wind chimes and things stuck on it. Notice they added icicles to help, you know, tie it into the wintry bit. A lot of people forget that um, when they're decorating for, uh, you know, they don't put snow on the roofs of their house or anything like that. And it's fun when uh, folks remember to add little touches like that. Yeah, it looks like uh, Draken pillars for that part. And then this is just um, layered uh, two by fours. So it looks like about three of them uh, for that particular bar. Kind of hard to get a good shot because it's so big. See if I can get over here. There we go. A little better. Notice the the flooring. They've basically chosen to cover most of the ground with some type of stone. Um, either it's uh, the gray stones or it looks like a little bit of obsidian rock. Um, swirly stones here and there. Again, it's uh, got a lot of uh, icy bits to make this, uh, I guess, kind of like a, a canyon or something. Really hard to get a good shot. I'm gonna, I, I think there's like a little vista area up above where we can kind of get a better look from um, up there. As to what it looks like from from down here. Um, even some uh, Arctera NPCs, little ice giant here. Even managed to squeeze in some of the bones. Speaking of bones, good morning bones, glad you could join us. It's always interesting to see how this Arctera decor plays. Is, is, like opaque but not opaque there's like some a little bit of transparency there i don't know if you can actually fit anything in um let's see let's go inside the house first then we'll walk around the outside and i do it opposite of what i usually do but you can see there's this is the ground cover here that they've chosen to mostly box it in with all the stone Yeah, it's just a, a little home. They got their little dining area here, office space here. Let me slow him down a bit. And 
a little entertainment area as well. I guess that's his bed by the fireplace there. Very close and cozy. Not everybody adds multiple um, levels into their houses. Some can and some do, but not everybody does, and it's okay. Um, I, I like the carpeting here. It's all these layers of fur. Helps keep it warm. Um, here we have a little, I don't know what it's really supposed to be. Some kind of like, a, it's got like an altar here with some like uh, lit candles. I guess it's a meditation place you come and reflect over lost ones, loved ones, thinking about what you're going to do. I, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's good, Bones. Our weather's been cold, though. We've been getting colder and colder. I say that and I'm in short sleeves, but I think my husband turned the heater up so I wouldn't have to be... Um, Shivering is usually, I mean, it can be like 70 uh, Fahrenheit, um, I don't know what that is, and I guess 20, 22, something like that. And uh, uh, middle of summer, and I'll be on the couch with the blanket going, I'm freezing because I tend to be uh, cold, cold natured, cold hearted, I guess, too. I don't know. Over here, you can see they've made use of the uh, snowy hill. And they've just used it as a snowy hill. Look at, uh, he's got like a spiky mohawk going on. With his bit. I think this was their attempt to kind of just blend in as much of the um, Arctera decor that they've managed to get a hold of without disrupting their uh, kind of um, serene, uh, calm little area down below. They've, you know, here there's that platform here. I really don't know what the names of these are. Um, kind of half covered. So it's like a ruins maybe that this place has been kind of founded on. There's another little bit. I like this particular decor. Um, in the preview I didn't notice it really, but all of these little steam jets, I imagine some people, especially if you manage to get a hold of a bunch of them, can find some fun uses for these little puffs. You know, sink that into the wall and just have the puff coming out. It'd be good for um, those that have like uh, long hallways and like their spaceships and stuff. I would imagine. I really don't know how clumsy it is to use this particular piece of decor, but uh, it would be fun to have just steam puffs. Almost looks like a Yeah, it's like a skull. I don't know if like this is supposed to be his body that the thing is built on. I, I really don't know. Now, I see some pathways up above. I'm not sure how to get up there, so we'll just kind of investigate. There's the little Draken vendor. Unmanned. There's a little graveyard area. Where are we going? I don't think all of these are snowy hills. I think some of them are tops of snowy rocks that they've just sunk down and left the snow showing. Um, it's just one way of adding levels to your, your ground without really... Is that, is that a... Oh, okay. This is the... Uh, What is that, the, the pet crypt or something that they've got there? They're making it look like a, a big door kind of thing. Strange. Oops. Looking for a path up. Find those stairs. Are you guys looking forward to the Steam release? I, I really have no um, uh, I'm not excited about it, but I'm not, you know, scared about it. I'm just kind of I, I just hope it's a, a positive thing for Wildstar. I just can't get up there. 
He's slick. He's slanted. I'm just tired of all of the doom and gloom, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm ready for something, um, some good vibes coming, and I'm sure with a lot of newcomers, we're liable to have a lot of new trolls and stuff too. I like this bit. This is like the purple rock arch being used as like uh, an entrance to a little cave area. Um, sit, be cozy. Again, it's mixed stones. Um, I think it's due to the lighting. I don't really know what sky they're using, but they all kind of blend together into like a, a purple rock. But there's obsidian, there's the purple rock arch, there's um, the gray stones. Well, with any influx of players, um, Z, there's always going to be that bunch that comes in, spends a couple of weeks, and vamooses. So there's going to be a, a, a drop in player uh, count, and a lot of people will try to use that as, see, it's failing, it's going bye-bye, even if that's not really the case. Um, they've done that uh, in the past. Because, uh, you know, with every new little release of something, people are going to come, try it out, and just either decide quickly, yes, it's for them, no, it's not. And, uh, and of course, uh, like I said, with a lot of influx of new players, you're going to get those that are not really in support of the game. They just want to be there to kind of beat down on it. Um, I mean, we still have that. We have players that regularly visit the forums, and all they do is post negative um, issues, uh, not issues, but negative remarks. They don't have any kind of constructive criticism. It's one thing to say, hey, this doesn't work. This is how I think it should work. It's something else to say, this sucks, and just leave it at that. So, um, and when it comes to the forums, it seems like the negative uh, vibe is more readily heard they're louder. Uh, most of us that are happy with what's going on or at least are patient enough to wait to see what happens, we don't, we're not very verbal. <laughs> so the new players, a lot of them, if they're looking for information, they're going to see all this negativity and, ex and assume that that's like the norm and uh, the common feeling and really it isn't. And of course, if someone tries to post a positive thing, um, then, you know, they get bashed for being um, the white knight and uh, the fanboys and things like that. So, I don't know. I just hope that uh, folks are smart enough in general to try the game for themselves without uh, allowing someone else's opinion to sway them one way or the other. Thankfully, we've had um, some people do that. Not a lot, but some. Um, because it's like uh, like when a movie's coming out and you read all these movie reviews and it's talking about how horrible it is or uh, whatever it can be um, kind of puts you off to even bothering to look at it. And it also can be the other way. If, if the reviews really hype up a film, then you have a better chance of being disappointed too because your, your expectations are too high. Um, so I think it can go both ways. I just want people to... to be willing to try it out for themselves um, without uh, having others influence them too strongly. <clears throat> yeah, as far as I know, they're not really, uh, I mean, they've been, if they're planning anything, they've been very tight lipped about it. Um, and uh, there's been no kind of data mining or leaking of information of anything that they might be planning. I like the giant bonsai there. <laughs> um, 
as far as I know, the only thing that they've actually been talking about changing is, yeah, the, the class race combos. Some of them are, some new ones are being introduced. Um, when exactly they're going to hit, I have no idea, but... Uh, I mean, it's not like we've gotten any news about, like, say, neighborhoods or um, any kind of, uh, I mean, I know there's the, the Red Moon um, raid in the works, but as far as I know, that's still pretty much still majorly in the works. Um, so I don't know if that's coming with Steam or, or not. If, if so, they've been very quiet about it. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. For me, as long as I'm having fun, I don't care what other people say. I'm going to continue having my fun. Some strange little build. It's like, I don't know if it's like a residence. I guess it's kind of like a residence, but it almost has a club feel. Because, I mean, here you have like a little gathering place with the bar and stuff so I'm not sure what this is supposed to be it doesn't really look like a dojo to me at least what in my head what a dojo looks like uh, like down here it's there's like a little porch and uh, like a, a big living space but it doesn't feel like a dojo to me I always think of a dojo as like being a practice place for your skills which I have absolutely none. Notice they're using the tiki roofs uh, pretty nicely um, as the, you know, the roofing. You get a lot of the Asian uh, themed areas like the thatching because that kind of is reminiscent of some of the architecture. So the tiki roofs and the problem with those is those long uh, spikes here that you have to kind of work in. I think they did a decent job kind of blending that in, building around it, so it's not too cumbersome. Now well, look at this cave here. What are these? Some kind of glacier bit as well. I don't know the names of most of those because there's so many of them. It's like the hover park pieces. They introduced like 90 plus of those. It's like I'm not even going to bother trying to remember all those names. It's probably why I don't use them too much. The only thing I was disappointed with with the throne was that it's not actually functional as a seat, which I would imagine other people find that a little annoying as well. Man, that's really big though. Look at that. Yes, it's supposed to be Osun size, so. <clears throat> Is this that flickering you were talking about? I never noticed it. it. Doesn't seem all that bad, does it? I can't tell that it's giving off any actual light. I thought there was some there for a minute, but I think that's just the sparkles from the the purple rock itself. At least these don't do like the uh, the ritual candle circle where it like throbs really bright light. Um, I always found that one kind of annoying. I've only used it once, I think, because of that. Look at those different... See, I, I know for sure those are kind of like, like icicles from... Um, it looks bluer than the icicles on the vendor, so I'm assuming that's from Arctera, but I, I have no idea what pieces those are. I've been waiting for someone to build like the Fortress of Solitude, isn't it? Made out of crystals and ice and stuff. I just noticed this one's got a different hairstyle. Not quite the mohawk like the other one. <laughs> That's okay, Bones. Just get it out of your system. <laughs> Well, I do know that supposedly some of the guilds or community groups, um, I guess on entity side, um, as that's where most of that kind of stuff happens, um, are planning to do some special events for some of the new players. Um, I think it's more like they're going to like just 
flood the lower level zones and you know be there to say hi to the new players and answer questions and stuff so that's positive um i think that's good because I, I remember katia posted i think it was yesterday asking about confirmation about when the release was going to happen so that they can kind of coordinate um, those plans a little better so that people will be for sure um, available during that time. The yellow version of the candle, huh? Oh, is this something you can craft? I'll have to look. I keep forgetting to look at the craftable stuff um, for the patterns. In fact, I think there's a few that I haven't learned yet because I don't have the materials needed. I have the 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 pattern, but I don't have the other stuff that you got to have. See, like there, there's a good shot. Look at a lot of weird different bits, snow covered bits, there's glacier bits, there's icicle bits. Definitely a, an interesting build as far as combining uh, I mean we've got some greenery too but it's mostly frozen frozen stuff I like the icicles here it's like an overgrowth the way it's shaped and the the striations in this one is really pretty looks like uh, tiger stripes or something Like, what was that? I don't remember seeing that while I was over there. Again, rope bridges for the win. Like two, three or four of those together. I mean, you can see where they kind of meet. Notice this one didn't uh, put any kind of uh, end pieces on them. Most, most folks do, because it looks a little weird with the rope just kind of hanging in midair there as if maybe they've got a lot of starch or something. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe I won't bother looking it up then if it's that awful. I hadn't noticed, did they change the, the, the panel things that you get in the shop with the animation? Um, I don't know what they're called. Uh, the ones that come in different colors and they were kind of like animated and people were saying it was like uh, epileptic inducing. Um, I didn't notice if they've actually changed that. They talked about adjusting the speed of it, I think, but um, all right, Bones, have fun. I won't ask about the breakfast because you said you only get food on Friday, so. Here's some of those winter NPCs. I think it's like the snow bunny and I don't know what. I'd like to get a hold of one of these. I still haven't gotten one. And I love the light that this lantern gives off. It's really pretty blue. I have a bunch of these stuck in my bank and I've yet to learn them. Oh, is that the, that's the blue flame somebody was asking about not long ago? Uh oh, oh, whew. I almost fell through the hole. Did you see that? I think I have the other version, the um, the one with the regular fire. Okay, I don't want to risk falling down through the crack there, so that could have been bad. <clears throat> Let's see. Have we been everywhere in here? Kind of hard to tell. Let's see, I think we still need to go across this way. Or did, is that where I came from? That's where I come from. Never mind. This kind of build almost has a feel like as they got a piece, they added it. And then as they got another piece, they added it. It's like it's a very organically built. It's not like they had a, a solid idea in mind, I don't think. I, I could be wrong, but that's kind of the way it feels to me. Very, um, uh, It just kind of evolved into what it is now. 
which that's kind of how I build too. I start with a small idea and then I just kind of expand it from there. I'm gonna go look at what that pole is. I guess it's just a, an extra bit sticking out. Maybe it's supposed to be like a giant chimney. Oh, well, that's good to know, Faye. Um, I came by a plot, I think it was the day before yesterday, and I saw one, and I honestly wasn't sure if it had actually changed or not. Um, it looked okay. I didn't, like, get sick looking at it or anything, so I assumed it had been, but I wasn't for sure. Because I really didn't look at them too much while they were in the shop when they first come out, so I wasn't sure. And I didn't want to say that they're fixed um, and then get somebody disappointed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey. I think that's everything. And then, yeah, because we went across there. That's the upper area. I think, I think that might be the one I have. I, I don't know. I can't remember. No, that looks uh, Drakeny, not um, Osuni. Although I do think I have one of those. Oops, back on my rock. I don't think we missed anything down here, but I'm going to take another look just to be sure. Again, it's just a, a fun example of how you can kind of blend in a variety. I mean, there's uh, clearly some like Celestion type trees more in the center here where it's a little warmer. you got the hot springs and everything going on. And then as you spread out, you get into the pine trees and stuff. So it's not like you have to stick with any one kind of uh, zone type of decor in the same on the same plot. You can kind of blend it all. Uh, I was just going to notice that uh, they use 2 by 4s to kind of give a front bit here. Work kind of nice to box that in with the, the tiki roof there. Again, notice all the icicles and stuff. I, I noticed they didn't put any on the main house, which is disappointing for me. But maybe because it's more in the warmer part of the plot that it wasn't completely necessary, they didn't think about it. Okay, so that is uh, Retsudo Yagyu's Samurai Mountain Dojo. Fun little build, something interesting, not the usual. Office lens get full of them the way they were versus oh yeah. Yeah, well I'm not really uh, I don't have a lot of plots that require a lot of the the panels and the flashy bits. Um, I've tried making a few things like the when I did the the subway thing, I tried to make some electronic like panels and stuff and I just wasn't very good at that. It's very like <laughs> minimalistic. There is like a few little buttons and that was it. But yeah, I think I came by a house the other day that had some, uh, well, one, I should say one, it had a yellow one or something. I think they were using it like a television screen um, in one of their rec rooms or something. Okay, so our next and final house for today, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this reminds me of somebody's place on um, Exile side. So it would not surprise me if this is the same builder.
This is uh, this plot is called the Dominion Navy, and it is by Fro Drumheller. As you can see, they've got uh, the little entrance capped off with some uh, curved walls and a dome, and they've got the Dominion streamers. We've got exile versions of those as well. I thought so, Bucky. <laughs> I was first, I, I stumbled on this, uh, I guess it was yesterday, and I said, you know, I bet that's his place. Because <laughs> uh, too much of it looks familiar to me, just the style of the build and what it is and everything. And I thought, yeah, I bet that's fucking. <laughs> but I didn't want to just assume because maybe, um, maybe it isn't and somebody just kind of copied your place and, and was inspired by it or something. And... Uh, yeah, I thought, hmm, this reminds me of somebody's plot, because uh, I forget the name of it. It was like Battleship something, I think, on, uh, oh, I can't remember the name. You've got too many alts. Battleship Bay or something, something like that. Anyway. I thought it was funny because you know it's it's a little weird I don't think I have a style of build um, but I know I can kind of sometimes recognize certain people's uh, way of putting things together just the items that they choose or the themes even I mean this is like right up your alley so it makes sense that it would be yours but I love the the boats you have such a knack for the mechanical stuff, the, the military builds and, and boats and robots and, and vehicles and stuff. In fact, I really need to tour your, um, your O'Hara place um, again because you've added so many new things. Maybe next week. Maybe. No promises. Anyway, so we have these, I don't know what you call them. Is there, Are these some kind of like little battleships or something? And they're, they're even kind of built differently. They're kind of similar, but different uh, accessories or whatever. But like the little R2-D2 looking gun thingies here. So sorry that I'm not being very technical. <laughs> But it's like a, to a dome, to a cylinder or um, tube or whatever, and then the hammers for the, the guns themselves, the barrels. And this is, uh, I think it's the humidifier thing or something, one of the Protostar machiney things. With the uh, pressure dividers along the side. Got the handy dandy welder working on some of the fixings in here. Got the little captain's office. What are those? Are those the bottoms of some guns or something? Let me look out here. Oh, it's the. Oh, it's that Dominion thing that only you guys can get a hold of on here. I don't remember what it is. Yeah, Tech Engine, that's it. It's a really pretty piece if you're into the Dominion colors. Um, of course, the railings are the, the graded metal shelves, and then these are the new graded flooring. Um, that you can get straight off of the vendor. I use them upside down for the paths on the, the bakery shop lot. And then the bottom of the ship is, it looks to be like domes and probably uh, curved cylinder pieces, something like that. And these are the the new stairs from the housing vendor, I think. Look at this little, it's just a, a bar with a, what was that, advanced thermometer? 
And see, I would be like complicating it and trying to put all sorts of things in there. And that just works really nice because it's got plenty of lights and controls and buttons and switches and stuff. He has no arms to turn that wheel. <laughs> and I don't remember what that thing is. I think it's funny, though, because it's got that little guns that shoot little... I assume those are guns. Maybe those are exhaust thingies. Never noticed it had a flag on there before, though. Okay, let's head over to the next one. Is there an easy way to get to this one? Is it called the Cove of Betrayal? All I know is it's like there's like this huge battleship or something, and then there's all these little because he had the it was the first time he discovered that the one um, animated uh, protostar thing if you turned it upside upside down it looked like a tugboat. And uh, uh, it had like um, the dock. Uh, that one's dock is a little bit more um, detailed than this one, but it had like uh, all sorts of like shops and, and things like that. Is that Marshall's? Oh, well, see how I get you guys confused. <laughs> Because I know we have a lot of uh, folks that love the spaceships and the and the, the boats and things. Well, which one? Am, what's the Cove of Betrayal? Is that the two? Um, is that the ship where it's got the two opposing camps and the boats in the middle? Like it looks like a pirate and then a marauder or something. See, I get them confused. Okay, so this one's kind of similar, but look, it's got like this extra little bow part. That's just a hover part piece with the little, what is that, Dawn Grazer head, mounted head. This one's using, um, instead of the pressure divi dividers on all of it, it's got the uh, reinforced wall up at the front. So similar, but there's like different parts. Like here, instead of the little pumping station here, they've got um, airtight containers. And uh, what are these? Exile um, fence posts? Pardon me. I like all the little wires and stuff. It looks like ribbons. And these look like bug zappers. With that honeycomb. Uh, I think I like this bridge better. With the, I guess it's the Chua desks. Because again, those have all those little buttons and gadgets and stuff. It's not as brightly lit as the other one, but I think I like that one better. What is that thing sticking there? doesn't light up for me. Two pirate ships. Okay, I kind of remember that one. You have to forgive. I tour literally hundreds of plots, so <laughs> I found to get them mixed up. Uh, I think I like the captain's room on the other one. So combine the two, and then you got like the perfect <laughs> I don't think their ship wants to go to that side, to the winter part, and get frozen, frozen in the water. Notice the deck, uh, the dock part is mostly just the um, boardwalk pieces. Okay, let's see gonna walk underwater here. Gonna hop over to these little, what are these little speed boats? Aren't these the dwarves? Look at that. It's like hover part pieces, um, curved walls, probably some floors for that bit, little dome for the front. 
And this is that, I don't know, humidifier thing again with a cylinder. And that's that new, um, the hologram thingy that you can get from the vendor. Used to, everybody had to use the uh, Elden holographic thing. And now we have this that's just standalone on itself. Those are pretty good engines. I like that. <clears throat> See, look at this. You got like, what is that? Uh, that's a detonator thing. That's a control panel. That's a lever switch. What's this one? What is that? Is that another just control panel thingy? Might be the big one with the, the, the red push down handle thing. Or is that a detonator? That might be a detonator. Okay, now that's, I think that's what I'm thinking of. That's not it. I don't know what that is. Oh, well. It's this one, but upside down. Is that what you're saying? I need to look at these things a lot closer because I never noticed that it had all those buttons. Again, glass panel, hover part piece. But look at that, it just looks just like a little speedboat. You could uh, recreate Jaws, have a little speedboat with the skiers out back and, and forming the little triangle with your NPCs and then having the shark fin coming up. At your next project, recreate Jaws. Have like the mechanical uh, shark or something with some teeth and foaming at the mouth. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's hop over this. I'm saving the big boat for the last. Are you really? <laughs> Well, you could do like a, a big a Kraken um, beast or something. Go with Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, so this one's got like some dudes on it. Are they getting ready to crash or something? Or they're getting ready to go out and marauder? Maraud. If you're wondering what the rocks are on the edges, that's those uh, stepping stones from... Um, the Starcom Basin goodies. Okay, how do I get up here? I love the submarine. This is a really nice one. It looks like uh, windows, the, the tall arch windows, um, just stacked. And then one is offset a little bit to make this top part of the sub with the dome kind of inset a little bit. And then it uh, looks like a cylinder part for the little ringlet here and then the faux um, hatch and that looks like that uh, the light that you had over there on the other side and that's the uh, like a fence post a little animated one and then another hatch for this one and then just the cylinders just slowly sized down to give that kind of tapered look to the ship with some triangle pieces at the bottom, the end. Was it the aft, aft of the ship? Amazing shapes for the, the ships and the subs and stuff, but too bad we can't get up inside there. I know just because because of the way it's constructed, there's just no way to, to make that possible, but it would be fun. Finding some nice ways to use those windows other than just as windows. Okay, the big ship. Let's have a looky. Um, looks like uh, boxes of bolts. Just really oversized. It's like three of them. Um, hard to tell what that is. Um, I see the porthole windows. 
I think these are the utility crates because it looks like the legs of the bottom of that little crate thing. That's one of those Osun, um, I think it's the bust, the one that I use for the window um, uh, on the bakery thing. I think it's the same uh, piece. I just turned it around so you don't see the head. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the utility crates there. Um, this is that new, uh, I think it's a spaceship window. Most people are using them for doors other than windows, which I find funny because it's, you would think that maybe they would have called it a, a door, but they called it a window, but nobody's using it as a window. I love this little, I guess it's a jet um, thing, using the same engine part for um, its exhaust bit. The uh, the vent tanks here, triangle pieces, the little rockets. I like the the cockpit windows so it, it opens and closes. Again, there's those fence posts. The landing gear is pretty funny. Those are just control panels, right? And then a uh, <laughs> I was like, what is this thing? That's the straw from the soda cup. That's pretty funny. And the control panel for the, the controller there. And of course the chew pillow. It's got to have comfort in your ships. Always coming up with nifty little boats and ships and stuff. Nuts. These are just those, um, oh, I don't know, metal platforms or whatever. Let's see, you've got the little helipad marked out. That's, it looks like a dome uh, or it could be a cylinder piece. To mark the circle the H is using it looks like the new ice rock blocks for the H and then the helicopter itself how adorable is that <laughs> what is that a gun is that one of those zapper pistols it's oversized and you added the the triangle pieces for the fin it looks like the exile streamers for the rotor on that side same way for the top. Um, cylinder pieces for the cab. Uh, I mean, cylinder glass, the, the, the round glass pieces. And then you got the porthole windows for either side. It looks like a, like a bug, almost. Like a dragonfly. Cover part piece here. And this looks like... What is that? Is that the... The microscope, Ixian microscope there. It's so weird. Looks like um, some hanging cables for uh, the connecting uh, for the landing gear and then just a metal edge two by fours for those. Yeah, dragonfly, that's what it looks like. I think it's because of these bits, it looks like eyeballs. And like his head is hollow or something. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Just um, if you like extended the tail even longer and, and add some wings, you'd have a, a dragonfly perfect like that. That's pretty cute. I don't remember seeing that when I was last year. But then I kind of just quickly glance and go, ooh, that looks cool. And I'm out of there and I wrote it down and said, I'll be back. So here's like the upper deck of, or the little bridge area for this big hunky ship. I can't get through there. 
I think that's uh, one of those medical exam thingies being used for the the wheel. You got your two a desk, the reinforced walls, glass, and then of course the two a wall uh, floors for the floor and the roofing there. These are those new. Um, gosh, I can't get through that side. Um, the new um, Macari tables. I still say it looks like roulette of some sort. I think it's just because it's round and it's got the different thought colors or something. That's a little mesmerizing, that animation. Ooh, look at that one. Ugh. I don't think I want that piece, but this definitely looks like a Vegas game to me. Lots of different goodies, but lots of clever ideas. I, I love these kind of builds, especially since I'm really horrible at coming up with um, ships and stuff. I admire those that can make them. Here we get to go down into the belly of this one. Got the hatch closed on this side. You can go down inside and it brings you to Chua House, which they managed to cleverly disguise inside the belly of the boat. And then you come up on, I guess this is the engine room or something, and it's not in good shape apparently. They're doing lots of repairs. Turn those on for them. Look at the use of the uh, soul frost tubes. I don't know what kind of platform this is, if that's the... I don't know what that is. It's one of the new pieces, that's all I can tell you. That one's from the vendor, those are the uh, Marauder vents, I think it was. But look at that. It's so frost powered. fun and different way of using the house rather than just using it as a house. It doesn't have to be. You can find fun ways of... See? Alright. Right there. I probably made a mistake by jumping down there, but oh well. There we go. And again, remember whenever you have these little tubes and stuff, always walk it multiple times and add in little extra helper steps and stuff if you need to for those of us that are mobilely disadvantaged <laughs> for people like me that can't jump proper. So yes, awesome, awesome build. I don't know, is this called like a carrier or something? Is that what it's called technically? I think that might be what it is. I really don't know. Uh, <laughs> aircraft carrier. Yeah, see, I, I kind of know what I'm talking about sometimes. It's unusual. Let's see. Just looking to see if there's anything I forgot. Again, it's the utility um, crates. The, the one with the, the tools in it, like the uh, spanner and everything. <clears throat> and then that's a reinforced wall to kind of just <sighs> the camera keeps working. Are these the new the new fires from uh, Arctera or is it just the Draken ones? Because I know there was like some Draker Draker Draken pillar um, fires as well that came out not too long ago. And it's just cylinder pieces, and I'm not sure what this it is. It looks like... I have no idea. Really fun stuff. 
So yeah, that's our tours for today, guys. Um, I hope you had fun with them. Um, just remember, I spend time hunting for houses, but uh, I'm getting fewer and fewer hits on um, Dominion side for sure. So if you know of any Dominion <clears throat> plots that you really um, think deserve a look, uh, feel free to point those out to me. Um, I noticed uh, yesterday when I was kind of confirming what houses I was going to be going to today, uh, about a third of them have gone private since the last time I looked. Um, several of them I couldn't find just because of the player just not existing, which may or may not be accurate, but uh, hopefully not because there was some really nice stuff. And uh, the rest are all just incomplete. They're just not far along enough uh, that I feel uh, confident that they wouldn't mind me showing them even if they're not finished. They're just that incomplete. There's just like a small portion and you can clearly see there's just still lots that they want to add. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I wish they would. I wish they would. Uh, even if it was just shared among um, the same faction, I would be happy. That would be a step in the right direction. Um, but yeah, let me know what those names are. Um, of either if it's your place, you know, as an alt or something. Um, I'm happy to, to add it to my list. Um, I have been more seriously thinking about the idea of doing um, NA tours, um, which might help supplement um, the lacking part on EU side as far as Dominion goes. Um, what I'm considering is if I do it, it will be uh, one week will be NA region, one week will be EU region, and I will do a little bit of both factions each week. So like, for instance, um, if I started it next week, it would be in a side and I would do maybe one or two uh, exile plots and one or two dominion plots. It'll be easier to switch between the factions on the same region than to switch regions for the same faction, if that makes sense. Um, Oh, right, uh, Bones. I, I know that name, and I think I have it written down, but I'll note it again. So maybe for the next time that we run a Dominion side, which that means you'll have two weeks to kind of finish up any little bits. Um, what that means is both factions will get a little bit of, you know, attention each week. And every other week, it'll be a different region. Um, I think that would be the best and easiest way for me to kind of break into um, starting up in a uh, tours. Again, uh, I'm not saying I'm going to, but I, I am giving it serious thought. I have been giving it serious thought for uh, many months now. Um, it's just I didn't. I wasn't confident that there was enough of a desire for that or if it even was necessary because at the time that I was really thinking about it, we already had several people doing uh, some regular tours on that side of the pond and I didn't really want to make it seem like I was intruding um, on their you know, territory or whatever. Uh, but it seems more and more I seem to get request or suggestion that I switch over. So if you guys really feel that it's something you would like me to do, uh, let me know and um, I'll, uh, I'll look into it. Uh, it probably won't be uh, within the next month or so. I, I, what I will probably do is I will start doing a, spending a little extra time on NA side, working up my own lists of places I think I might like to tour see about how many I come up with and if, um, you know, if I feel like I can confidently do it. I, I kind of avoided most of the plots on uh, EU side that had already had videos and such made of them. And I really haven't been keeping track of that kind of thing on NA side because I never really expected to be touring them. So it may be that I may tour places that have already had tours made and 
so those that made the tours might not like it and, and, and such, you know, or others may feel like, well, those people are getting extra attention and it's not intentional or anything. It's just, I've been kind of out of the loop on NA side. I really don't pay them much mind. Not that that's, you know, anything to do with their building quality. It's just, I've had my focus on e-use for so long. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, uh, just let me know what you think about that. You can send me a PM or a, a Twitter or a tweet or um, a forum message, you know, however you want. Let me know what you think about uh, me expanding the tours. Uh, do you feel like it's going to, you know, uh, intrude too much on the time that's spent on EU? Um, or are you anxious to see places? Do you have places of your own over there that you would like to show off um, that haven't been shown before? That kind of thing. Um, so I can get a better feel of what people really, um, really want. Because uh, again, you know, I've asked for feedback before about, you know, uh, things that you guys would like to see. And if that's really something that you're interested in, then um, I will definitely make an effort to work towards that. Um, but um, it's just not going to be instant. Uh, I, I don't expect it to be anyway. It really takes a little time to kind of get your list build up and have everything organized and um, make sure that uh, I get the word out in time to warn everybody that that's going to change um, so that they can be aware of it and that kind of stuff. So I just like to hear more um, from you guys on that as far as what you expect, what you hope for, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think we'll call it good um, for today. Thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate all of the tweets, the retweets, the reminders to tweet, and uh, the uh, follows, the uh, likes, and the votes, and the support in general. Um, it's very much appreciated. It helps keep me going, and um, hopefully uh, we're here, you know, for the long haul. Um, in the meantime, again, reminder, we do have uh, maintenance coming up in a few hours. So if you haven't done so now and you want to get some all-star time in before that hits, go, go, go. Um, because it is going to be down for at least a couple of hours. Um, fingers crossed that it's not any longer than that. But uh, And hopefully we get some official news about that Steam release. Um, we've already had some people tweeting the new images of the, the Steam page showing that the, the date has been changed to June 1st, 2016, saying that it's going to hit you know within seven days or so. So um, it looks official, um, but we just don't have anything officially on Carbine themselves, so hopefully that comes out today. Um, I think they're probably just now getting up or getting to the office or something, so yeah. Um, fingers crossed that comes with some other things too, but maybe they feel like that would be too much of a, a stress on them to have a bunch of things hitting at once, so. Um, but it is coming around the anniversary time, I think. Because I think uh, originally it released on the 4th of June or something like that. So this is kind of coinciding with that. So I expect we'll probably have some kind of a little anniversary thing uh, going on. We did see some uh, data mine images of a new anniversary cupcake um, and, and things like that with some fireworks and stuff. So maybe, um, what is it, Starfall, I think is the name. Uh, maybe that's coming up soon. You know, I don't know. You know, don't take my quote for it, but uh, it's things that we've seen hinted at and data mined information about. So maybe, maybe some of that stuff is coming up and that will help, you know, spur some excitement um, in addition to uh, getting an influx of players with the Steam release. Um, if you don't already have some plans um, for that time when that hits, um, maybe, you know, make a conscious effort to be around to answer questions for all the newbies that will be coming in. Um, I know it's going to be a try on our patients as far as having the same questions asked over and over and over. Um, but if you can get past that, um, help make a good impression. Um, maybe a lot of these newcomers will become uh, long-term players, which is really the goal. We need more long-term players. Um, <clears throat> 
Yeah, Bucky. Well, I know where mine's going. Mine's going in the bakery, so I don't have any problem with that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I think it had, like, two candles on it this time, so, you know, just signifying it. Of course, I think it's a different color, and the, the wrapper's a little different, so should be fun. But I, I already have a spot ready for it, I'm just waiting for it to pop in. I don't know if there's an actual new pet coming or anything um, along with that, like they did with the anniversary anniversary dower or whatever they called it um yeah that's what i figured because uh, it not only uh, i think it just coincides with the actual original release date so ah uh, yes your diner do you need to finish that plot so i can tour that one for sure but uh yeah so hopefully you know things are moving in a good direction um, and the, the momentum picks up a little bit and spirits lift and, and all that stuff. But yeah, just kind of make a point to be around, be available, answer questions. Cause while you may feel like you don't have a lot of information to pass, there's a lot of things that we kind of take for granted now that, um, uh, the newcomers, they might feel a little bit overwhelmed. Um, and uh, of course, for you housing lovers out there, it's a perfect opportunity to get some more um, to turn over to our side of the universe, the, the housing uh, wackiness that we do. Show them some plots, you know. Uh, of course, you know, you're not required to, but you can definitely direct them to my, uh, my channel uh, if they're looking for some examples of some fantastic builds. Or just show them in person. Um, take them to your own plots. Uh, take them to your friends' plots. Uh, you know, do whatever you can to help um, entice them to stay around. Because that's really what we need. Is we need um, not just an influx of players, but we need that um, that foundation of players to get bigger. Uh, the ones that are going to stick around and spend money and spend time and invest themselves into the game um, and into the community. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Bucky. Something like that. Anywho, I uh, hope you guys had a fun time um, and look forward to seeing you guys later. Um, we'll be back to our usual nonsensical stuff uh, tomorrow. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what goes from there. Um, so, yeah, have fun, you guys. Good luck with your projects and hope to hear from you soon. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.